one. But Osceola comes in 10th with 91. Thank you. There we go. So that is the last 10, the top 10 of the women's team scores, and Gainesville wins it. They are the 3A state champs. First girls state title for them in swimming. Look at my piece of paper here. I guessed it. I got all top he 10. He got it all right. Oh. He did. But I'm just, uh, I'm waiting for those uh, points there for the men's breaststroke. Don't have yeah. them, so I have no clue right now as to uh, how the points might have changed for the boys' teams. Yep. Well, we'll see in just a moment. They should be able to do that. The 40-yard freestyle relay ending for the boys. The winner there was a Durrell Academy. So we'll see how that was. It Durrell Academy? <laughs> I already forgot. It's been a long day. What for the uh, relay? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale won the relay. So Fort 40, Lauderdale, we'll see if that. Right. Them. We'll see if that uh, helps them win the state title, which would be their 18th. Yeah. And Gainesville I, again, their first. I do know that since the uh, backstroke, since the backstroke, Fort Lauderdale was in second place. The first place there in the relay, of course, gives them 40 more points, giving them 177 points. Uh, Belem Jesuit had 145 points there since the backstroke, and uh, they came in third in the A finals for the 400 relay, giving them 32 points. So that's that's keeping them right in there, very close. Um, as a matter of fact, tied. So, as, as far as the relay goes, Belen Jesuit and Fort Lauderdale would be tied. But, and see, they're but, I, but I don't have scores for the breaststroke, so I have no idea which one's going to be on top. <clears throat> so Gainesville being congratulated on the 3A girls state title. <clears throat> and again, we're 